say welcome to gcreddy.com today session introduction to java first session index in this session i am going to explain five topics first what is java next purpose of java or uses of java next third one features of java fourth one java environment setup last one java language elements and object oriented programming system concepts oops concepts okay see index what is java purpose of java features of java java environment setup see today i will show only theoretical approach in future classes i will show practical also see first one <clears throat> what is java java is a general purpose high level programming language developed by sun microsystems and released in 1995 which was later acquired by by the oracle corporation see released by sun microsystems later acquired by oracle corporation next java can be used to create complete software applications that may run on single computer or be distributed among servers and clients in a network java can be used to create complete software applications that may run on a single computer or be distributed among servers and clients in a network next java runs on a variety of platforms operating environments such as microsoft windows macintosh and various flavors of unix linux solaris etc next java is object oriented programming language for example c c is structured programming language java object oriented programming language in java everything is object except primitive data types except the primitive data types all elements in java are objects okay next topic purpose of java or uses of java we already discussed java is a general purpose high level programming language ah uh, what are the uses of java in real world java is used to develop desktop applications such as acrobat radar etc next java is used to develop web applications for example snapdeal application developed in java twitter application developed in java so many web applications developed in java see java is used to develop desktop applications such as acrobat radar web applications such as snapdeal.com etc next enterprise applications example banking applications insurance applications erp applications etc next mobile applications next java is used to develop embedded systems smart cards games software scientific applications and secondary purpose also there test automation see in selenium we can use java as programming language to write test scripts see primary purpose of java is software development 
next secondary purpose also there you can use java for test automation see once again java is used to develop desktop applications web applications enterprise applications mobile applications embedded systems smart cards game software scientific applications and for test automation next third topic <clears throat> features of java see java has several features see important features are one is platform independent java provides software based platform see in it industry platforms two types hardware based platform software based platform java provides software based platform java code can be run on multiple platforms example microsoft windows linux sun solaris mac etc os next robust robust means strong java uses strong memory management next portable we can carry the java byte code to any platform next object oriented object oriented programming is a methodology that simplify software development and maintenance by providing some rules next simple java syntax is based on c++ removed many confusing and rarely used features and there is automatic garbage collection so java is simple language next other features are high in performance distributed architectural neutral and multi threaded see these are the important features of java next <clears throat> java environment setup i will explain theoretical approach only in practical chapters i will show how to download and install and how to use java means how to write and execute java programs java environment setup uh, why java environment setup say set up java environment in order to write and execute java programs in order to write and execute java programs java environment is required first set up java environment in order to write and execute java programs steps first download java software jdk java development kit and install download java software from either java.com or oracle.com and install next set environment variable path variable <coughs> next write java programs using notepad like editor next compile the program and run using command prompt suppose windows command prompt or optimized way suppose you don't want to use notepad as editor and command prompt for compilation and running the code you can use ides suppose uh, for example eclipse ide is available first download java software and install next download eclipse ide it is also open source and extract no need to install eclipse just extract then you can get eclipse launcher by clicking on by clicking on that eclipse file 
you can launch eclipse ide eclipse eclipse ide provides um, editor for writing programs next syntax guidance auto compilation etc facilities if we use notepad no syntax guidance no auto compilation etc say eclipse ide not only for writing and executing java programs eclipse ide can be used for parallel python ruby php programs also but in our scenario eclipse ide for writing and executing java programs if we use eclipse ide like environment provides editor for writing code next syntax guidance next auto compilation etc next see download java software and install download eclipse ide and extract next write java programs in eclipse ide editor and run okay next last topic java language elements and object oriented programming system concepts first java language elements see comments next data types modifiers access modifiers and non access modifiers variables operators next flow control conditional statements loop statements strings arrays io handling file handling methods predefined methods and user defined methods next regular expressions next exception handling mechanism also there next all these are java language elements what are the java language elements data types modifiers variables operators flow control strings arrays methods etc next oops concepts inheritance polymorphism abstraction and encapsulation inheritance polymorphism abstraction and encapsulation thank you